Hopefully it's a little bit better. The street sweeper, of course, comes right in front of my house when it's time to make a video. So I have to say week 34 wasn't a really good one, I'd say. I know that things are gonna get harder and harder till the end probably, but ugh. So I think I gave an update uh, last week. Um, when I had a day off in the middle of the week, I took my daughter to the movies. I ended up calling into the hospital. I'm so sorry it's loud. Um, yeah, I'll probably be put on insulin this week when I go in. Um, my appointment is on Thursday. So, week 34. I think even 33 it started. But I have started getting really nauseous like the beginning of pregnancy and that didn't happen with um, when I was pregnant with my daughter. I remember just being hungry all the time. Now, like, I'll get really hungry. I'll eat two bites of whatever I was eating and then all of a sudden I have to sit with the garbage can because I'm afraid I'm going to throw up. Sorry, I keep like scrunching up and wrinkling up my forehead. It's a little sunny out here. Um, yeah, so I don't know what's going on. I had cherries the other day. They made me feel like I was gonna throw up. I I just, I don't know, everything makes me feel like I'm gonna throw up. Last night, I worked like 10 hours and 45 minutes or so. I get home and done so, you look exhausted. So I went home, I took a little bit of a nap and I got up and he goes, do you want me to go pick up supper? He goes, I know you've had a really long, hard day. And he was like, you don't have to cook. I'll go get supper. So he went out and of course he goes to McDonald's. I was like, there's nothing I can eat there. But I tried. And I was really, really craving breakfast. So I had him get me an egg and cheese biscuit and a little hash brown, which I should have known. Like anytime I try to eat those biscuits, like they're delicious, but they make me feel really sick. Um, so I ate maybe three bites and all of a sudden I was like, Kelly, give me the garbage can. <laughs> so it's just been kind of rough and yes, sometimes I eat crap I shouldn't. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. I'm pregnant and it's going to happen. And some days I have a really horrible, long, hard day and I'm going to eat McDonald's. And um, yeah, I'm a human. I'm, I'm a regular person. Just because we have weight loss surgery doesn't mean that forever we're going to do the right thing. Now, if you look through my log book, my gestational diabetes log book, you'll see that most of my meals have been pretty good. My blood sugars were pretty bad at the beginning of week 34, like bad. I had some over 200 <sighs> and I was really frustrated. Like I watched a few other people's videos on gestational diabetes and what they eat in a day. And I was getting really mad. I was like, she's eating two pieces of toast and her blood sugars are fine. I was like, if I eat like one piece of bread or if I eat, you know, something a little bit bad, mine go crazy. Not all the time. Not that it would be like a direct correlation. The past week, it's just been like willy nilly. Like sometimes I'll eat something healthy and it'll go crazy and then I'll have a carby, horrible meal and it'll be super, super good. So, meh. <sighs> This is probably why she's putting me on insulin soon. Um, but yeah, that's not even the tangent I was gonna go off on. So I might as well start with the hormonal stuff too. I had been feeling mostly myself, mostly sane. I haven't flipped out too many times. Me and Dennis almost, almost never fight, almost. We might like disagree on something, but it's calm and civil and we go, well, I would rather do it this way, but if you really want to, then do that. That's usually how our discussions or disagreements go. This weekend, I was trying to film um, a video on gestational diabetes and, and like what I eat in a day and testing my blood sugars. And like the middle of the day, just we had a big old fight and it ruined the whole video and I was like, not even gonna make it anymore, I'm just done. So, I'll just t tell y'all what happened because you're like a part of my family and why not? Why not spill my guts to everybody? So, I know that I'm a little OCD and I want everything to be done and I want things to be done right. And Dennis is really like, his last paycheck had 125 hours on it and on his day off, that he didn't go in and volunteer to work. He 
it was helping our other friends move so I really I have not had him around much at all to help me get things ready for the baby and I live in a super old crappy house that's falling apart and like in order to just paint a room you can't just like tape it and paint it you have to like fill in all of the crumbling parts and the big old cracks and the whatever putty it up and then sometimes you have to sand it and then you have to tape and while you're taping you're like oh my gosh this wall is totally crooked and then you have to paint things and so it just there's always like three four extra steps in there sorry if I'm talking really fast but so I've been really frustrated and trying to do things myself at this stage of the game it's not working so well even to do laundry like all of our bedrooms are on the second floor of the house so I throw the laundry down the steps I sort them into the different baskets and then they go down into the dungeon basement where the laundry room is well where the washer and dryer is um, and the steps there are super super narrow and I have to go down them backwards because it's almost like a ladder like super super narrow super dangerous and it's hard for me to carry the baskets up the stairs like resting on my belly you can't see where you're walking so he's had to do most of the bringing laundry down bringing laundry up and so anyway back to my story <sighs> so I don't know we installed the car seat on Saturday <clears throat> we had cleaned out the vehicle um, and he was smoking outside and the door was open to the car yet and I was like can you please just like scooch away from the car I don't want our kids the car seat I don't want smoke anywhere near our kids stuff so he like got all huffy and crabby and like walked way to the other side of the yard and I was like he's just crabby today and it was super hot super hot so yes we were both crabby we came in and he like switched the laundry for me and he brought up our giant comforter from the basement this is as silly as it is this is how our fight got started um the quilt like barely fits in our washer or dryer and it never is dry all the way and if you don't dry it all the way then it's like stinky and musty and gross and and so I asked him I was like is that dry all the way and he was like yeah and I was like because if it's not it gets blah, 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 blah. and he was like well it's a little bit damp and I was like can you please just go put it in the dryer for a little bit that's what started it and then he flipped out. Dennis is calm, 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 calm. Usually, me too. Calm, 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 nothing bothers us until that one little moment that it does and then it all comes out. And he was like, I don't know why you have to be like this, blah, blah, blah. And he goes, everything has to be done just right. And I don't even know what was all said. A lot of things were said. And he was like, I don't even want to be here right now because I don't even want to be home. And I like, I don't know, whatever was said in my head, it was, he does not want to live here with me anymore. He does not love me in my head. That this is what's happening. <laughs> I've had horrible relationships before. How little PTSD. Sometimes things trigger my PTSD. Um, yeah, I've had to have like a restraining order against an ex before. Like all kinds of bad things. Dennis is super, a wonderful man. Wonderful, wonderful. But nobody's going to say the right things all the time, do the right things all the time. <sighs> but it's just unfortunate when these things happen when you're giant and pregnant and hormonal. So he says these things and it triggered me and all of a sudden I freaked out. The pregnancy rage was real. Let me tell you. <laughs> like, I was like, you are never home and I have to do everything myself and it's a little difficult. And I was like, so yeah, guess what? I hate living in this house too. And like, I just went off. And I was like, if you don't want to be here, then go. And like, <laughs> it just all came out. Like I picked up a big old Tupperware container that was on the counter that had angel food cake in and I slammed it on the ground. And I went upstairs just crying and crying and crying and crying. And I was like, it's weeks before I have my baby, my second baby with this man and he's my husband and he doesn't even love me. And I was like, just like the places that my brain goes instantly are so bad and so negative and it was just bad so he comes up like a minute later and he's like I'm sorry and like he's rubbing my leg and rubbing my back and trying to kiss me and I'm just like mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> like I wouldn't look at him like, I couldn't stop crying and like he's up there for probably 10-15 minutes trying to make things better and I was like talking to him 
a little bit, but I'm just so mad. So mad. Oh. I can laugh about it now. Everything's fine. But like at the moment, I was just like, oh, he's like, I love you. And I was like, do you? Do you? Like, just losing my pregnant mind. Uh -huh. That's about how that went. So eventually he like slinks out of the room. He's like, I'm just going to go downstairs for a while. I uh, love you. And so in my head, I'm, I'm all in my head, not telling him the things that I'm thinking. The whole, he doesn't love me, blah, blah. Fine, I'll just put up with whatever I'm gonna put up with until I can't handle it anymore and then I'm gonna leave. And I was like, I don't need him to help me with things. I can do everything myself and I'll prove him. So I cleared off the bookshelf in our room and I moved it all by myself to my daughter's room. I picked up like all the books off her other bookshelf and I organized both of the shelves and I was like lifting all this heavy stuff and moving everything and I was getting <laughs> more angry and more angry because I was doing it by myself. He came up once to go to the bathroom in the midst of this and he goes, do you want help? And I was like, no. And so he goes back downstairs and then I'm really mad because he's not helping me, which I told him not to help me. And so I was like, I'm going to go switch laundry all by myself. So I brought the laundry down to the basement. I threw the clean laundry in the living room by his feet. He's sitting there watching TV, which is just making me more and more and more angry. Like, go back upstairs and like, I don't know, maybe an hour later of me cleaning things upstairs by myself, organizing things, packing things up, doing all the stuff. Um, my daughter comes up and she goes, I don't know, she asked me something and I said, why don't you go tell daddy to come upstairs and help me since I'm doing everything by myself. <laughs> I was, I was mad for a good, I don't know, four hours, four, probably. Just, I get mad and I, stubborn, and I try to do everything myself, which makes me even more angry. It was a hot mess. So he comes up, he goes, well, what, do you want help? What do you want me to do? And I was like, you get mad at me if I tell you what to do. You get mad at me if I don't tell you what to do. I don't know. <laughs> I, was, I was a horrible person. Just just saying. I'm admitting. I was pretty horrible. Um, yeah. Eventually I calmed down. The hormones settled. But I, I swear to you, it was like 92 or something. With the heat index, it was over 100. And then our house does not have AC. So I was like so freaking hot and sweaty and angry and hormony. So now you know what our lovely fight was about and it was just ridiculous. And like that night he's all, I really do love you. And like, he's trying to make up and I was like, mm, I'm, I'm getting there, but I'm not quite there. The next day everything was fine. Um, but it's just the craziness. Okay, so that was like a huge old story just about the hormones that are happening right now. The last month of pregnancy is a little bit miserable. So, anyway. So I told you that I get really nauseous and stuff and there's just like no room for food. Literally, I'll just have a couple bites and I'm like, oh, I just don't feel it. Um, and I was losing weight, like almost like a pound, half pound every single day. Um, so last week when I had to call the hospital, like I had woke up that day and the scale said like 200 point something, which meant like I had lost five pounds overnight. And I was like, I kept stepping on it and stepping on it. And I was like, I don't know, maybe I am just dehydrated. I was like, what is going on? So the day after that, my weight went back up to like 205. I was trying to stay super hydrated that day. So I don't know. Anyway, so then it kept going down. It was like 204 and then the next day it was 203. And then yesterday it was, maybe not yesterday. I don't know. It got down to like 202 point something. But the past couple of days, I've been super, like, snacky. I can't eat a lot at once, but I've been eating kind of junk and, like, snacking. And, like, last night when I was snacking, I had some... I don't remember what they're called. Combos? Like, I was snacking on kind of carby things so that I didn't feel nauseous. Which, today, my weight was back up to 205. Um, so, hold on a second. little munchkin came outside um so yeah yesterday I started feeling really weird 
like pregnancy weird like I don't know what's going on in there I feel like he's getting ready for the end of things I just felt so much pressure and pain and like I swear he was just rooting his little head down in my crotch I kept having lightning crotch it was just it was so uncomfortable and I do not have a long torso so if I sit like straight up in a chair it hurts so bad like his butts and my ribs and just this is the end the last like part of the race and it's getting miserable I must admit I was like at the end of yesterday I was like now I remember why the second I was like one day overdue I was like no I'm done get this kid out of me like you're so done by the end it's so done so done um Oh, and feeling nasty. I'm feeling so nasty, but I'm just exhausted and like I have nothing left to do all of the stuff that I have to do. So it's really making me frustrated. And like my mom is calling me and like my brother and sister-in-law want to come out too and they all want to ride together about the time I'm supposed to have the baby. So they're like, so, you know, when's all this going to happen? We need to take time off work. We need to plan everything. And I was like, oh, baby gets here when they get here, even when they're due on a certain day. Like... It doesn't mean they're gonna come out so now I'm getting stressed out about that like a lot like I don't like feeling the pressure of everybody's waiting on me and everybody's making all our travel plans around when I'm gonna be giving birth and like if if they come out and I don't have the baby till the end then it's like then I'm like everybody's disappointed in me blah 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 anyway I've been having tons of contractions tons nothing new they hurt a little bit more and a little bit more each day <laughs> oh my daughter is like pounding on the door so I gotta go in get some more stuff done but talk to you guys soon and I think I'm gonna try to make a couple other videos today on some other stuff but we'll see if it happens but oh yeah I'll show you like standing up what my belly looks like hopefully you can see it that's the belly from the front Alright, see you later. Bye.